Hello. I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's only two gospel in the New Testament that offer a nativity na narrative. Of course, there's the one from Luke, who is, which is the most famous one. We read it every Christmas Eve, um, and it focuses on Mary. And there's the second one from the Gospel according to Matthew that focus on Joseph. And this one is, let's be honest, way more, way less popular, I would say. Uh, because, I don't know, this is a good, good question. The consequence of this is that Joseph is rarely the star of the pageant, uh, is not necessarily see in a positive way and sometimes I don't know maybe you would disagree but it feels like somehow of a loser <laughs> you know his girlfriend his fiance came up she said I'm pregnant you're not the father but that's not a problem it's all good because I've been told that God by God that everything was be Okay, so let's get Mary. Yeah, sure. <laughs> eh, this is a difficult choice for Joseph because it goes against the cultural norm of his society. What people were doing, what the expectation of what marriage and family was all about. It was, we not sure, but I'm pretty... I'm pretty convinced that it was not what Joseph imagined for him. And so what he did, he chose to dismiss Mary quietly without making a big scandal out of it and to go on with his life. Case closed. Let's move on. But an angel came out during the night in his dream with a message that start with don't be afraid God is about to do something new something big something great and you Joseph have a role to play in this don't be afraid to go against your society don't be afraid of gossips. Don't be afraid of what people might think about you. Don't be afraid of scandal. Take Mary as your wife and take that child as your son. When we think about it, the Christmas story is not like the way we like to remember it, like the crash and the story we tell children. The fact is, it begins with a scandal. It begins with a very tough and difficult choice. But most importantly, it begins with courage. The courage of a man, the courage of a woman that dare to say yes to God. Christmas, this whole season, this whole story, is a reminder of our call to be courageous, the, the, the determination to follow God's call, to trust and believe in God. Because living our faith could be difficult and it could be could bring difficult dilemma. And it means that the people around us will not always understand the path we will follow. They will not always understand our choices. Nevertheless, like Joseph, we're called to choose what is right over what is easy. And a few days before Christmas, I hope we will all remember that beyond the cute story, beyond the celebration, which is all great, what is really important sometimes is to be courageous and not to be afraid. Thank you once again for watching. Thank you for being there.
And until next time, I remain Reverend Stéphane Vermette, the lectionary man. Take care of yourself. And bye-bye.